It may be that when we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work. And that when we no longer know which way to go, we have come to our real journey. The mind that is not baffled is not employed. The impeded stream is the one that sings. I greet you today, Grace Covenant, with the words of Wendell Berry from Catawba Falls near Old Fort, North Carolina. I used that poem by Wendell Berry in a poetry class at Grace Covenant several weeks ago when I was walking this morning and listening to the stream behind me, I was able to recall those words and remind myself, those were the particular words that came to me this morning. The impeded stream is the one that sings. The stream that has obstacles in it. Think about that, Grace Covenant. What are the obstacles in your life and how have they brought you to song? How have going through the difficult times strengthened you in your journey? And reflecting more on that poem by Wendell Berry, have you ever gotten to the point that you didn't know what to do? Like in a pandemic? Like in a culture and a system that no longer knows its way. In a church that you once knew and now you've come back and it's different. Maybe that's calling you to some new and inner work. I know it's calling me to that work. There are days now that we are coming out of the pandemic and things are different in work and worship. That I'm challenged to know what to do. And that's the real work of trying to grow as we move forward into a new light. As we celebrate this time of Easter and continue to look for signs of resurrection, perhaps it has been this pandemic in which the church that we knew, and granted much of what we knew about life, has been laid to rest in a tomb, only now to be emerging, to be resurrected in a new way. Similar, but different, with a new vision and a new hope and an expectation we could have never anticipated before the pandemic. We're reading stories about the disciples. Last week it was Thomas and his doubt. This week it's uh, the disciples fishing, catching fish, and Jesus telling Peter to feed my sheep in the days following his resurrection. New life, new ways to be, new ways to be disciples, to be called into this work. We have new work to do as a church and as individuals. We have a new journey to walk as a church and as individuals. We must keep our minds engaged, even baffled. Employ your minds and remember that those obstacles you face are actually the things that make you sing. So let us sing on Grace Covenant in worship, in our hearts, in all that we do. And as always, I give thanks for you, love each and every one of you, and I pray that you enjoy this upcoming weekend. God bless.